side by side. It was a good time. You know what's funny? For as much time as I spent working on my own, mm -hmm. we got much further together. This is a game that really thrives on teamwork, you know? Funny how that works. <laughs> Hi, welcome to Side by Side. This is a local co-op game show where we talk about games that maybe, maybe need a little bit more of a showcase than they're getting. This game is a game that, again, like I found on an indie wish list. I followed the developers, I was really into it, blah, blah, blah. But this time it was actually something that turned out to be pretty good. Yeah. Um, what is the game about? And the point is to explore all the various floors, um, collect cool loot, defeat the enemies, and I guess the ultimate goal is to, to reach the rumored treasure on the 26th floor. Yeah, the hypothetical treasure hypothetical. that we never found. We never saw it. <laughs> um, they say it's there. Yeah. I've never seen it, so it doesn't really exist. Uh, Schrodinger's treasure, I guess. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, a, it's a mystery. Now, you're a fan of game lore. I am. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a huge lore person. So this game isn't necessarily like, it's called Legend of Dungeon, but there's not a lot of lore to be had. Yeah, it's no real legend. But the interesting thing is, every time you play, you do kind of have a different story. Yeah. Like, something that I thought was just a fantastic choice is you can name your characters before you go out on the adventure. So I was always renaming my you know characters, obviously, different silly names. Oh yeah, it's a lot of fun. And then you can almost kind of uh, role play. Yeah. Build your own lore into it, because you can make a funny character name and then make up a whole backstory of why they're in the dungeon, what they're doing down there. It kind of makes it fun. So every time that we play, uh, we never really reach the bottom. No. But an interesting thing was, that's kind of the point in a way. Right. Like at the end, when you die, there's like a high score, and it says like, you know, you, you went this far and you got this much gold along the way. But it's kind of one of those games where you have to expect to die. Oh yeah, you're gonna die a lot in this game. You're gonna die a lot. But then there are also um, different classes that you could unlock if you found the characters down on various floors. And if you manage to find them and then successfully bring them back up to the top with you, then you unlock that class for future playthroughs and it kind of beat the game for you in that aspect. In our case, we actually completed a few runs, which mm -hmm. is cool because I've never done it by myself. <laughs> and uh, I spent a lot of time trying. I think the interesting parts of this is that it does kind of give you like sub-quests beyond just like we're running around looking for money. Mm -hmm. So my play that played through was when we had Horchata and Moose Magnets. Yeah. So we had Horchata was you, the, the female character, and I was the Moose Magnet who was the female knight. We're both females. We're yeah. both females. And um, we sort of role-played that. I was, I was like your pimp, madam. Mm -hmm. yeah. You were my... You were my... I'm a working girl. <laughs> You're a working girl. And yeah. I, let's be honest, I didn't get a lot of work done. <laughs> no, not much no. work done. But at one point I did find a machine gun and then the roles switched over because, right. you know. Whore Chata and Moose Magnet's relationship was complicated. An uppity prostitute and a pauper knight. Their fights for control became aggravated. Many arguments plagued their trek of who should take the lead. Who's wrong when no one's right? Neither could satiate their greed. When power shifts, who sets the pace when one of them finds a gun? It doesn't matter who starts the fight in front of an enchanted skeleton. My cat was a little concerned with that playthrough. Yeah, we had fun with it. We did. It was I fun. think this is a game that's like, it's fun to play. It's good. I enjoyed it. But I think there's more fun to be had when you add a little something to it yourself. Just add a little spice to it. Not necessarily that you need to do that, but I think that the game gives you so much like interesting randomness. And it's not totally chaotic random. But like sometimes you'll start with like a really cool item or you'll just get nothing. And uh, yeah, I think just like playing through like that was just, it was fun. level is procedurally generated which means that every time you play every single floor that you're going down it's a little bit different but they are kind of familiar and so after going down a number of floors a number of times you start to say well I kind of know where the difficulty is going to start ramping its way up it's interesting to play because every single time you go through uh, around like you don't know what kind of equipment you're gonna get 
you don't know you kind of get an idea what the monsters are going to be like but you don't know where the layout is and sometimes you run into like really weird traps that like oh the entire room just got filled with death yeah or maybe got flooded with money or just you know some sort of like silly things would happen but often more often than nice it's something terrible yeah like when we step on like one of the little glowing tiles and then the wall would come down and then out pours just 20 enemies Death. all to, to fuck us up yeah that's fun so every time you play there's a new set of potions and they all come in weird name uh, the nomenclature is a little odd right, it's murky green and muddy brown uh, milky white questionable yellow questionable yellow is always one that i don't feel comfortable drinking i don't feel comfortable drinking any of these <laughs> none of them sound really good um lime no. green sounded kind of tasty because that like lime green it probably tastes like you know lime jello maybe or maybe it's radioactive you don't know okay well now it doesn't sound as tasty anymore yeah that's the whole thing milky milky white you're like that's hmm. gross i wouldn't I, I bet it smells a little off too. Yeah, would not want that. So um, you choke down a potion, you see how it feels, and like either you throw up or you have a little light effect that gives you something positive. Also, you find that like having a uh, magic book too is also another randomized element of the game. Oh yeah, and those can really kind of make or break your playthrough. If you get the right magic book in the earlier stages, you could just fly right through the floors. You can coast. Easily. So based on our time together with it, would you recommend this game? Yeah, I would 100% recommend this game. It mm. was really fun. It was super easy to pick up, minimal controls. You could really play it with anybody who's not really familiar with games, could pick this up very fast. I thought it was fun and funny, like lots of very fun named items and weapons and little random characters they throw in there. Like they had the, the Doctor Who guy in there, which was mm -hmm. fun, and little references, which were great. So the I really enjoyed army. it. The chicken army, mm. try to pet a bear, and Bear killed me. I think it might be a little difficult for people who aren't really good at games, but if you're like even intermediate at it, like don't even have to be particularly good. I think it's a fun game to play. I'd recommend it. But I do know that like if you get frustrated by losing, if you get frustrated that like you might lose and your partner's okay, and then you have to like follow them around, you know? Yeah. I did that a lot. Yeah, that could that could be deterring, but I think overall, if you look at anything that we have here and any of it looks good to you, I'd go for it. I think it's great. I think for its price point, it's absolutely worth it. I think even if you only play it for like four or five hours and it's not like something you wanna play anymore, I think it's worth it. But the thing is the price point's so cheap, buying it's not cost prohibitive. Like if you even think it's remotely interesting, go for it. Buy it. For it. Support the developers. They worked hard on it. And Buy it's it. an enjoyable experience. Yeah. Anyway, uh, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. My cat was very, very polite this entire time and he sat through the whole thing. And uh, I didn't want him to be here the entire time. I didn't want him on my lap at all. But you know what? He's a, he's a good little stinky boy. I'm gonna, he's gonna say goodbye. Bye. Bye. And that is how you reshoot an episode.